Welcome to my dimly lit workshop. Today I wanted to f try a different style of filming. I wanted to start a new video series, uh, more like a vlog, because I work on a lot of cool things all the time that I wouldn't necessarily make a whole video out of on its own. Um, but I feel like if I was filming a little bit of this, a little bit of that, do a once monthly update on all the random stuff I got going on, then you guys would see a lot of the cool random stuff that I do on the day to day. Also, uh, if you've been paying really close attention, I've been slacking on my video updates. Uh, so this is also an attempt to try and keep me honest, to keep me moving, to straighten things up, clean up a little more. Because as you'll see today, uh, it's gotten pretty bad. You see, for the past year and a half or so, uh, I've been taking care of my elderly grandfather who, you know, he, he uh, was nearing the end of his life. Uh, he paid me to keep up his the property, to take him to doctor's appointments, uh, drive him around, whatever he needed to do, I was there. So I did that in the mornings, and I came here to my workshop, worked the afternoons. So at the end of his life, it was it was full time for me. I you know spent mornings and afternoons there, and then the hospice came, and then it was round the clock until he finally passed um, and the work didn't stop there for me uh, funeral arrangements taking care of the estate the whole nine yards a lot of responsibility fell on me so I fell off the radar for a while completely completely honest just that consumed me and I still have a lot of that work to do so that's why I wanted to start this vlog series now. I've been thinking about it for a while, but now I'm just going to do it. It's going to be much more guerrilla filming style, minimal editing, because I want to make it and put it out there instead of sitting on footage forever. So I'm going to try and increase the number of videos I'm putting out. I'm still going to have my once a month video that I make, whether it's a time lapse or a a how-to or whatever I still want to do that and then once a month I want to have a vlog it's just kind of a less formal what's going on video and then I think I'm gonna slip some shorts in there too because apparently that's the thing and that's what Instagram or that's what YouTube wants you to put out to increase your views and all that so I guess I'll try that it's been rough Um, taking care of the estate and everything after my grandpa passed. Not only has everything in my workshop slipped and the video making slipped, but my personal life has been slipping. Uh, my my own home is going to garbage. Um, but I'm just just I'm, I'm trying not to make this a personal blog. I'll try and keep it. To the workshop just so you guys know where I'm at it's I'm on the cusp of moving into my forever home um, eventually moving the whole workshop so a lot of my life is just like on pause until things get rolling but I don't want to leave you guys in the dust so let's start the update This is the part where I'm talking about, I need you guys to help keep me honest because my workshop is becoming a mess as I keep accumulating things, um, more supplies for shows, half finished projects. I mean, look at this, you know this is bad, right? Things that need to be separated into jars. My chemicals that are out. Look, like there's some diaphanized frogs that need jars. Just a tray of degreasing skulls. Just things like that. Garbage. If, you know, 
if depression could be summed up in one video it's a mess like this uh, I'm accumulating buckets because they're garbage and they keep breaking on me so I keep buying more buckets let's take a look at that actually here's my degreaser going strong I recently found these heavy-duty buckets which are awesome because they only cost like twice as much as a regular bucket but they're never gonna break and I was going through these like crazy with the temperature expanding and, and contracting I think it was just splitting them so that's why I went through so many and now as they're breaking I'm replacing them with these it's a toasty what's the temperature in there 108 right now all right Look at these messy shelves. Oh man, empty boxes. If you see anything weird, just shout it out and say, what's that? By shout it out, I mean, leave a comment and be like, hey, on your next update, uh, what the hell was that? I, I really wanna know what the hell that was. Now here's something cool that um, I wouldn't necessarily make an entire video on, but I think you guys should know about it because it's super cool. Um, I struck a deal with a local fish store. Um, I don't know if you remember from an update, I don't know, maybe 500 people saw it where I had a little fish tank, but uh, turns out I'm really good at breeding shrimp and snails and guppies. So I give all of my babies to a local fish store and in exchange he gives me all the corpses of fish that don't make it and I've been getting some pretty crazy fish this is just today this is just today's haul now I don't even I'm not a saltwater expert I don't even know what most of these fish are but I think they're gonna make some pretty spectacular specimens wow there's so many today which is unfortunate, you know, shipping can take a toll on fish. Um, but you know, better than being flushed, right? I mean, how cool would this be as a specimen? Wet specimen or a diaphanization? Maybe I'll mummify some of them. Let me know what you think. Like, what, what do you think would be the best way to preserve this fish? I wanna know. It's a good deal for me because uh, I don't have very much experience with fish. I haven't done very many fish. So, you know, a lot of it will be trial and error, learning new things, what works and what doesn't for fish. Oh, I'm experimenting with this microphone. Hope it works. Just had to show you guys this. Um, because I've been so lazy and I haven't been getting a lot done lately as I put these fish away, my freezer is full 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 to the brim this guy freaks me out every time i open it because he looks like he's still alive looking at me but i'll put my fish in here let's grab some eggs for the beetles no oh, it didn't even close come on Here's the state of my beetles right now. Uh, this is awkward. There's actually something in there that the owner doesn't want me to show. So let me just... All right, here's my beetles right now. I got a lot of skulls backing up that need to be in the degreaser throw in some eggs not a lot of activity as I've been lazy I can still hear them rustling there's still a lot in there but 
<sighs> Not as many as I'd like. I'll start ramping up their feed here soon. Okay, I am going to point this one out for those of you that might not have noticed. Yes, this is a human finger. That was definitely a first for me. Story goes, uh, this gentleman works in a research lab where they milk venomous snakes, like the local rattlesnakes. And uh, one day he had an accident and got bit. And after months of hospital visits and uh, physical therapy, skin grafts, it just wasn't coming back. It still was stiff and it was painful, so they removed it. They removed it all the way down every bone in the finger, including down into the hand. So you can imagine... Can't get this angle. You can picture like how much of that finger went down. Funny story. Let's use this light. Funny story is one of the skin grafts came from his other finger. They used this chunk right here. On my hairy man hand, you can see that how hairy that is. They use that chunk right here, and they put it right here to try and save that skin. So if you look really closely, you can see on the underside of this finger that hairy patch of skin. So yeah, this guy really wanted his finger preserved, so I gave it back to him. He got it to me in this olive jar and uh, honestly I think it's done I think one more liquid change and it'll be good to give back to him That'll, that's a first for me a finger now this is not a first for me but uh, it's always a special one this is an entire cervix uterus fallopian tubes and ovaries. This one is also complete. Oh, and has an extra special surprise. The IUD. This one will be featured in an upcoming video I filmed and I just need to, you know, edit it and put it together. But, um, yeah, that's... I always love the opportunity when someone brings me something like that. You don't get those every day. Maybe one day I'll pick up on that again. That needs to be finished. This is a chameleon commission, which is not quite 100% done. If you can see between the ribs, there's still a little bit of flesh left. So there's just a couple of beetles in here munching away. I didn't want the skeleton to fall apart, so I slowed it down by just putting a couple of beetles in there. Oh, you can see what kind of chameleon it is. A Jackson's chameleon. Here are more delicate bones that are degreasing. Including the tail of a snake. Oh, that reminds me. I have this pile of reptile skins that I'm curing, including the tail of that snake. Uh, that one might might need its own video. It's a very special snake I'm doing for someone. They wanted the, the skin and the tail bones back. Guys, there's so much random stuff here, I can't even like point it all out. That's an iguana in some pretty rough shape. Um, someone brought it to me and it had been incorrectly preserved. 
So I'm trying to save it and salvage it by preserving it correctly. We'll see if I was able to. Sometimes if it's if it's past a point of rotting, then sometimes there's no recovering it. It's just going to rot, so we'll see. Oh, I'm still recording. Oops. <laughs>